Hi, I am happy to introduce this new video on tooth preparation. The central groove is the is most commonly the least prepared or the unprepared area of the tooth when we send this tooth preparation to the lab. So what I do in my clinical practice is that I usually start with the groove area only. So what I do is uh, I just make a rough class 1 kind of cavity to initial depth of 1.5 millimeters approximately. Here we are using a flat ended burr. So if we are planning for a PFM or a porcelain fused to metal or a full ceramic restoration we can use this flat ended burr and here I have started with the reduction of the buckle cusp so what making a class 1 kind of cavity in the center helps is so how it helps is your preparation will not be under prepared in the center of the tooth so your ceramist or your lab technician will be fine will be comfortable in placing the restoration in the center or giving some beautiful grooves in your restoration I usually do the occlusal reduction as my first step. Now when you are doing a vital tooth preparation, you have to be careful with the tooth's anatomy. You know the overall tooth preparation should look like a smaller tooth. Just that your preparation will not have a undercut. So your tooth reduction finally should look like a should look like a smaller tooth just without any undercuts here I started with the lingual cusp reduction so if you see clearly see our reduction is deficient in the occlusal surface right now if you watch closely, I am following the contours of the tooth. I am following the occlusal surface of the tooth of the tooth. See, I have not made the occlusal surface totally flat. Now starting with the buccal surface reduction. The buccal surface of the lower molar should be prepared in two planes shortly I'll show you the two planes that I'm using as a guide see if you see the natural tooth also the natural the buccal surface of the natural tooth is in two planes see one and two so in the similar fashion we are going to prepare our tooth in two planes and what that does is you know your technician will have a lot of space for the ceramic to be added this is what we call the functional cusp bevel You know, if you are very passionate about your work, you can spend, you know, easily half an hour to one hour on a tooth preparation. You know, there are always some improvements that can be made to your preparation. So, we should be patient during our work. So, I am planning to make some proximal cuts here so I have used a very thin burr now this is a 
matrix band that you can also use to prevent slicing the adjacent turf. So look at how thin the burr is that I'm using right now. What that does is it helps me prevent slicing the adjacent tooth. So I leave a very thin shelf of tooth so that I'm very careful that I'm not touching the adjacent tooth. Now this shelf can be removed with a hand instrument also or with the burr itself. It is always better to under prepare and watch closely and then complete your preparation. Then, you know, over preparing a tooth in one go and then regretting, you know, that we have lost the tooth structure, the precious tooth structure. So it is always a better idea to go slow. Now I am again using the flat ended burr. And very carefully, I enter the proximal areas. And this is how we prepare the proximal surface without slicing the adjacent tooth. The lingual reduction, we do not need to prepare the lingual wall in two planes. This is a single plane preparation. So it can be done in a pretty quick fashion. Whenever we are doing a tooth preparation or uh, if we are preparing a tooth for any indirect restoration, you know, you, you have to avoid any undercuts and number two, there should be no sharp line angles in any part of the preparation. Everything is to be rounded. I'm sorry I went a bit off camera here. So I was telling you that you have to avoid the undercuts and number two there should be no sharp line angles in your tooth preparation so you can always use a finishing burr in the end that i'll just demonstrate to complete your preparation and avoid any sharp angles or any sharp surfaces now here the tooth preparation looks almost finished so what I am showing here is we need sufficient occlusal clearance and this is the back of any bird that you can use to just check if you have sufficient clearance this is approximately 1.6 millimeters wide in diameter the back end of any burr so you can use it to just verify that you have enough clearance and wherever it is stucking it is stucking it is getting stuck you can finish the preparation there you can further reduce that area it is a easy way you know to find out if you have enough clearance or not now these things help your clinician, your uh, technician, I'm sorry. These things, these steps help your technician to make beautiful restorations. And the, uh, otherwise, you know, your technician will not be able to provide you some beautiful grooves in the center. It will be a flat kind of preparation or a flat kind of crown that you will be getting if you are not giving him the proper occlusal clearance. So as I told you in the starting, you know, you can spend further 10 to 15 minutes at every point of your ground preparation just to check that whether your margins 
are visible from the occlus from the occlusal view you don't have any undercuts or any under prepared tooth surface if you are passionate about your work you know there is no time limit that you have to spend on a tooth preparation there you know every point of time at every point of time there is some for the improvement that can be done in your tooth preparation this is a burr specially designed for the margin refinement it is only a tip cutting burr so you can refine the margins with this you know we usually sometimes we get some teeth projections or tiny lips of enamel that are sticking out of our preparation and these can be handled using these tip burrs this is a finishing burr yellow labeled so i'll be using this burr to finish the preparation so i believe you you like the video give us a like if you like the video and let me know in the comment section what video would you like to watch next on our channel we are almost completing 10000 subscribers maybe this month i'm very happy and thankful to you all and we have started some courses on inlays onlays class 2s so let me know if you need any help on one to one basis i'm just finishing my crown preparation Thanks for watching. Cheers.